Welcome back, this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Today we're gonna to take a look at a country brogue. This is a large brogue uh, wingtip derby. This has a very, very uh, fancy um, welt on it. You can see with the multiple rows of stitching. Um, has a lot of different names out there, but for now, let's just think of this as a type of Norwegian welt. And you can see it has this big medallion that actually goes along the edge of it and these big, beautiful brogue holes that go all around it, signifying the country brogue. Now this is a three eyelet version, which is not all that common. And this is from Heinrich Dinkelacker. And in this beautiful carbon color, which uh, changes color depending on the lighting and uh, can look black, can look a little bit golden um, uh, gray as, as, it, as it goes as well. So. A very interesting um, shoe, I, a pair that I actually picked up in Germany at their headquarters and a very interesting uh, time. Now, as you think about, you know, these and, and what is important about these styles is that they are very informal. Uh, they do have these big, beautiful brogues, but for all intents and purposes, they're considered dress shoes by today's standards and you can uh, get away with uh, quite a nice shoe that doesn't require a lot of upkeep because they're made with casual leathers and uh, you're able to brush and go which is great and they're you know very very uh, good in fall weather a lot of times they come with very thick soles like these and um, you're, you'll be able to just you know they're basically a workhorse uh, for the male wardrobe so really nice style and this is my only example of it today, but something that you should think about as you're investigating the full brogue. Now you can do a full brogue derby that is more formal, uh, has a much tighter um, sole uh, to the shoe, so it's barely visible from the top, um, has smaller broguing, so it's much more subdued. Uh, but this is typical country brogue. And for that, these have a special place in my collection. 